Hey, it's Angie, and I am here to answer the most common question I probably get when it comes to my passport, and it is, what kind of printer am I using to print photos for my passport? And there are three out there on the market, and I wanted to really quickly run through with them the differences, what I like about each, and what my preferred method for printing photos for your passport is. So here we have the Fujifilm Instax portable printer. We've got the Polaroid Zip and then the HP Sprocket. So to compare all the print qualities across the printers, this is the photo that we are going to use. So we'll start with the Instax printer. Each of these printers has its own app, but you can see I just pulled the photo up. I hit connect and print and it moves pretty fast. You'll see that it just starts spitting out your little Instax photo, your little Polaroid photo, almost instantly. And I love that because you can print a lot of stuff at once and it'll just breeze through. Up next is the Polaroid Zip. And this is what the app interface looks like. Within each app, there is an editing tool so you can edit and crop and change the color of your photos as needed. But once we click through, you can just hit print, but you'll see that it actually takes quite a bit of time to get the photo out. I sped up the footage here because from the second I hit print until the photo came out, it took 55 seconds, which is uh, an exorbitant amount of time, I feel like, especially compared to the Instax, where I feel like it's out within like eight or nine seconds. And then the last printer, which is very similar to the Polaroid Zip, is the HP Sprocket. And here I am within the interface. You'll see here that I've pressed print a couple of times, and I wasn't getting any sort of reaction from the app that it had accepted the print. And then all of a sudden, the screen kind of got light and then it started printing. And then I remembered that there's actually a queue that is building. so. If you press print a bunch of times, it's going to print a bunch of copies. And then one thing that happens is as it starts to print multiple copies, the print quality actually gets worse and the printer gets really hot and sometimes it'll just stop printing and say that it needs a minute to cool down and you'll get that notification in the app. So not super convenient, not the best print quality. So now that we have all of our photos printed and we printed all the same thing, let's compare. So now we've got um, the Instax printer and you can see that it's actually really good. The print quality is great, the color is great. It has a little bit of a grainy feel like you would have when you have a Polaroid. So it's got a little bit of that nostalgia -y, you know, look and feel to it. But I think it's really, really good for what it is. Next, we've got the Polaroid Zip. And overall, the colors look okay, but when you get real close in there, it just seems a little bit off. The colors are a little bit muddier. Um, some of the line work starts to look really fuzzy. And in comparison to the original and even the Instax, it's probably, you know, doable, but really not that great. And now we'll take a look at the HP Sprocket. You can see these are the two that we printed out and the first one looks different ever so slightly than the second one, but the colors are way more washed out, like a lot more washed out. Those blues don't look very rich. The line work is not that great. And then when we compare it to the Polaroid and even to the Instax, you can really see the difference. So aside from print quality, why would I use the Polaroid or the HP when clearly the Instax is a much better print quality? And really what it comes down to is convenience. So you can see here that the Instax is a much larger footprint. So you got that white border all around and then the HP printer and the Zip printer have a smaller photo and it's a sticker back. So you can just peel the backing off and slap it right into Wanderlust Passport and you're done. So you don't have to worry about tape or glue. Um, so those are sort of the, the pros and cons of each. So really what it comes down to is what's gonna be the most convenient for you. And the last thing we're gonna cover is just the film itself. So for the Instax, it's your standard Fujifilm Instax film. So it's really easy to get a hold of. It's readily available. You can get it on Amazon. You can go to Target. You can get it at CVS. So if you are on the road, 
and you run out of film, it's not a big deal at all because you can easily just run to a store and grab it. The Polaroid printer and the HP printer both use a zinc paper. So it's not like the Instax where it has like this case with all this packaging. It's actually just like the sticker sheets and you just put them into the printer. Um, for this, I used the Polaroid film for each printer and they're really interchangeable, it doesn't matter. But the problem is, is not as easy to find and it is a little bit expensive. So if you are on the road, um, I have seen it at a few targets, but for the most part, you're probably gonna have to Amazon this. So by far and away, the Instax printer is my favorite. It just has a much cooler look. I like that. The print quality is great. You know, it gives me room on the border to like actually doodle on the photo. And it just makes my passports look a little bit bloated, which I sort of love. So if you are interested in getting this, I will put a link to a blog post on the description of this video and you can go ahead and click out and link um, to all the different products that I talk about and yeah I think that's it. I'm really excited that I finally got this video done because I know so many of you were asking for it but if you have any questions leave something in the comments for me and I will get back to you. All right y'all bye.